What's going on, guys? I want to put this out there. Once again, thank you for everyone that has bought training. Thank you for the Nerd Trap. Really appreciate you guys. And this is something that popped into my head. The other day, I ordered some food from DoorDash. And in my DoorDash app, I have that you have to put the name of the apartment complex to get here because if you just put the address, it sends you behind the building. And consistently, I get a lot of DoorDash drivers to their credit who read that. And they arrive and they come bring the food. But then I get a group of people who don't read that and I get the weirdest conversations. I don't get, hey, this is your DoorDash driver. I'm in the wrong place. I get very strange, weird communication. Like, yo, I'm like, what does that mean? Yo, I get, I, and I noticed something. Also, I've ordered, when I was selling a lot of stuff on eBay, I was ordering a lot of Apple products and Apple will do instant delivery with Uber drivers. And I was getting the same kind of weird, truncated communication. And it kind of hit me. If you have poor communication skills, that will be reflected in your income. And I've seen this over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it's weird. You know, I'm gonna ask some of you younger guys, do they have writing classes in high school? When I was in high school, we were taught how to write a letter. You know, you have the address, you have the opening paragraph, you have the greeting. Do they still do that? Because I am consistently seeing people who have very, 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 very bad communication skills. And this is one of the reasons that I don't consume TikTok because you see that truncated, very bad communication style all across the platform. And years and years ago, when I was writing my first book, and my second editor, who did a bang up job, advised me to take a lot of words out of the text, because she said a lot of people wouldn't know what these words mean. And when I was growing up, I was taught that when I did some reading and I didn't know a word, grab a dictionary, look it up. And we live in a world where, I'm just gonna say it, people are beyond extremely lazy. I don't even have a word to describe the high level of laziness that persists today. And I'm seeing it all over the internet. I'm seeing very poor communication. Like case in point, the event that happened to me in last October. Uh, for the longest I was getting, is this the guy? People cannot put out congruent thoughts. And I was consistently getting this weird, strange communication style that really didn't lend itself. Like one of the things, uh, I'm a writer, you know, I, I've written books. So that's communication is a big thing for me. And I consistently see sloppy shorthand. This is one of the things when I text someone, I don't use the uh, text codes like be right back, BRB. I don't use that because that makes you mentally lazy. So whenever I text someone, I text in complete sentences because 
the time that you save with BRB versus Be Right Back, it, we're talking about two seconds versus seven seconds. It's not, it's very nominal the time you save with this trunicated conversation style that if the person that you're communicating with doesn't know what that means, guess what? You just failed at um, communicating with this person because this person got a message and they don't know what your point was because so many people do not want to use the English language the way it was intended. Just and like, like I said, I don't have a word for the level of laziness or maybe it's apathy. I don't know because one of the things I consistently see is a strong correlation between income and communication styles. I mean, pretty much going back to the incident of October, the majority of the people who were coming for me were poor, illiterate, broke, because their communication pattern was very, very, I'm gonna say not common man. You know what, do this, do this, and you will see what I'm talking about. Go to YouTube and look up talking to teenagers of the 1960s and listen to these high schoolers communicate and then go and compare and contrast that to the so-called college educated people of today who don't communicate nowhere near as well as these high school students because in the 60s you had to write essays you had to think, you had to communicate, right? And consistently, we're seeing extraordinarily poor communication styles across the board. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, and I, they, I don't know why they stopped selling it, maybe it wasn't selling, but years ago, Rush Limbaugh used to push this course called Verbal Advantage. And if you know anything about Rush Limbaugh, he didn't graduate from college. But because Rush Limbaugh had an extremely um, competitive and excellent grasp of the English language, he was able to rise to being worth half a billion dollars because of his communication style. Jeffrey, the butler on the Fresh Prince, got that job because of his communication style. So here's the thing, if you can speak to CEOs, college professors, and everyone else down, that will be reflected in your income. But if you can only speak to high schoolers or kids in elementary school, that will be reflected in your income. And one of the things we're getting on, because like, this may seem kind of crazy, but take a dictionary and you, you can write them down or just learn 10 new words a day. Just go through a dictionary and just bam, read 10 new words a day, which is gonna be 50 new words a week if you go Monday through Friday. Now, this is what's really strange about that. 10 new words a day, 50 new words a, day, uh, a week, right? You will actually learn about 300 words because in the definition in the dictionary, there's gonna be new words. So by learning 200 words intentionally through self-education, you're gonna learn about 1,400 new words per month. Man, that's going to make you an awesome communicator. You will not be at a loss for words you will be able to talk to anyone in an intelligent, articulate manner. And I, I'm like, I've made the vast majority of my money from communication. What is a book? A book is written communication. What is a YouTube video? A YouTube video is video visual communication. 
You know you can communicate without words, just using images. So if you want to begin to level up, like once again, I'm telling you, if you were to go out and get a dictionary and learn 10 new words a day, just read it, just go. Literally, this will take you maybe five, 10 minutes, depending on how fast you read. Just boom, find the word, learn how to pronounce it, know the meaning, and literally within a few months, this is something you can do in three, four, five months. Your vocabulary can literally double or triple or quadruple. And watch what happens when you increase your communication skills. Watch what happens to your income. Your income will automatically go up. Your income would dramatically increase. Because you know, I'm gonna be doing more videos talking about stuff like this, stuff that matters. Because during my break, I was starting to get rid of a lot of stuff that would piss me off. Um, you know, so that won't come to my home page and talk about relevant stuff to help you be successful. And this is something that will help you be successful. If you learn how to dramatically increase your communication skills, this will make you more successful, make you more interesting and if you're a person with lower self-esteem, this will raise your level of self-esteem because you will become competent. But once again, just go ahead and go here on YouTube in conversations between teenagers of the 60s and you will see that their communication patterns, their communication styles were vastly different than what you see and hear today. I mean, it is night and day difference in their communication skills, their communication patterns, and the way that they present themselves. Because, you know, I am seeing in today's world a level of sloppiness, a level of um, just, I don't care how I present myself, I don't care how I look, I don't care how I communicate. And it is reflected in the income of these people. If you're finding yourself stuck in the gig economy, increase your communication skills and that may be your way out. All right, so I'm getting ready to start like, you know, I'm gonna start this stuff next week because I'm about to come off break. And I've got some new training, some new stuff that I'm gonna put out for you guys to help you level up. Because what I'm gonna do, once again, shout out to all the people who have bought training, shout out to the Nerd Tribe, you guys get it. And I'm gonna start putting out programs to help you guys level up. Because you guys are not lazy, you guys are willing to put forth the effort, you're intellectually curious, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. So if you buy the program, you're gonna get this new training. And you know, I'm going to probably announce this Monday because you know, I'm enjoying my football weekends. I'm enjoying watching the college games on Saturday, and I'm enjoying watching the NFL games on Sunday. So we're gonna keep that but you can find the link to the program in the first comment, or if I forget, because I'm getting old and I'm a little forgetful at times, uh, you will find it in the description box. But if you go ahead and get the program, we're gonna break out with this new training, this new education, so to speak, this new level of doing stuff, and making money. So if you go ahead and get the program, the link's gonna be, like I said, in the first comment, or it's going to be in the description box, if I forget. Because I'm getting old, man! As Confucius say, short pencil is better than long memory.